What a beautiful day it is today. All sunny and bright. The birds are singing a nice cool breeze coming from the windows. Why is everything shaking? What is that noise? Back on June 23, 1944, in Shinnington, West Virginia, there was one of the worst tornadoes in that state. At the beginning of the day, it was all peaceful, the birds chirping, kids running around outside playing. Around 8.30 p.m., the sun was setting and people were going inside their houses to eat supper with their families or friends until right after 9 p.m. Everything started shaking. The winds roared like a train. Within two minutes, the town was destroyed. An F4 tornado winds up to 206 to 260 miles per hour went through Shinnington. The tornado was 500 to 1,000 feet in width. That is one-fifth of a mile. The tornado killed 72 people aging from 85 years old to only 6 days old and injured over 800 people. Vehicles were moved 100 feet from there originated. Bark was peeled from trees. A steel radial tower was broken off. A large gas plant was leveled and no more than 10 houses were left standing. Because of this destruction allowed opening opportunities for invasive species to gain ground. Rise in environmental pollution, wildlife nearly gone, and the spreading of hazardous materials. It affected the culture and economy as well. Highways blocked off from falling trees, lost in major productions like farms, businesses, factories, and property damage. Lasting effects can cause physical and mental problems. Tornadoes can cause long-term mental health issues, traumatic flashbacks, depression, increase of fear of loss and death to anyone that survived it. Physically, it can expose sunlight to areas that were once covered, resulting in new habitats for animals. Trees will take longer to grow and slow repopulation on animals coming back over time. Were they prepared for this? Did they know it was coming? No, they didn't. During 1944, the weather news was banned due to World War II, so they didn't have any warning of a tornado threat. If I was in this situation, this is how I would prepare. Go to a basement room without windows or a storm shelter on the lowest levels. If possible and need protection, grab something that is sturdy heavy for you could put over yourself like a workbench or table and then cover your body with a blanket sleeping bag or mattress so you won't get hit by the breeze or objects flying around bring any light source with you because you would definitely need that pay attention to warning signs like the cloud motion in the skies or if you have a weather channel look at the weather channel also, don't even try to outrun the tornado because you're more likely gonna fail. Also, sorry about the um, audio quality because I'm using um, earbuds to record. So, hopefully y'all um, enjoyed the video and stay safe. Bye!